welcome back to my channel. In this episode, we'll be making a mold out of alginate and casting the form out of plaster. So let's get started. First of all, let's gather the materials that we need. For the mold, we're going to use alginate, which is a seaweed based material. For the casting, we're going to use plaster of Paris, a large measuring jug for calculating the right amount of water for the mixes some scales to measure the right amount of quantities needed a couple of mixing bowls for the plaster as this makes it so much easier to clean after for the alginate an even larger bowl as the mold has more volume i've cut some pvc boards on the table saw to manage the volume that i need for the mold a glue gun is also necessary to help glue the box together and a couple of whisks for mixing the first step would be to make a box. Here I have some pre-cut PVC boards which I've measured with my fist and this will provide enough volume for the mould in alginate. Carefully glue the panels together with a hot glue gun and make sure there are no gaps. To make sure the box is absolutely watertight I'm going to duct tape the outside seams. Now with the box complete, we can weigh the materials, starting off with the alginate. For this instance, I have used 400 grams of alginate and will later mix it with 900 milliliters of water. After the alginate, we need to weigh up the plaster. In this instance, we need one kilo, but we'll split this quantity over two smaller bowls. Finally, time for action. We're going to mix the plaster now with the water first and then adding the first batch of plaster. And once ready, the second batch. We're mixing the plaster first as it takes longer to dry, approximately 10 to 15 minutes. In the meantime, we can mix the alginate, carefully mixing so there are no lumps left over. Now time to pour the mold. <laughs> Carefully hold still and don't move. Make sure you don't touch the sides of the box. After three minutes, the alginate is set. Once the hand is carefully removed, we can cast the plaster, pouring in and making sure we release any trapped bubbles. After 30 minutes, the plaster should be safe to remove from the mold. Carefully using a knife, remove the tape and the seams to the box to reveal the mold. The mold is really soft. When trying to remove the plaster cast with a knife, be careful not to go too deep and scratch the plaster. For the last remaining parts of the mold, Use your hands and pick at the final little bits. There you go, and after a night's worth of drying in the airing cupboard, the plaster piece is completely dry. I hope this video has been useful and inspiring. If you did, please like and share, and do consider subscribing. If you have any comments, do drop me a line and I look forward to seeing you next time.